Chairman, Senate Committee on Banking and Financial Institution, Senator Rafi Adabai Ibrahim has said that two of his colleagues from Nasara were in Delta states, Abdullahi Adamu and Oviomo Gege have continued to attack Senate President Bukola Saraki because they believe it was the best means to escape from the long arm of the law. Rafi, in a statement at the weekend, noted that the two lawmakers were using the attacks to be in the good books of the handlers in the presidency. He said that Damu formed the group he now calls Parliamentary Support Group PSG when his pending case of corruption as governor of Nasara was state being handled by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, was about to be taken to court. Everybody know that the same commission was about to file charges against his son in a different case. Maybe the former governor now have a trophy to hold up for his ignoble efforts as the administration, in its usual way, has decided to keep away the file on Adam. I am sure the case against his son is also not getting anywhere again. Omo Wigege, the senator from Delta State, knows that in a sane climb, he will not be walking as a free man after the stolen mace incident. The senator who came into the Senate through a court judgment is generally known not to have conducted himself well at all. Today, he is apologizing for some loose talk and tomorrow, he is heading to the court to challenge the decision taken on the issue for which he admitted being wrong and day after, he is in the middle of another mace theft crisis. Omo Wigege believes by abusing the leadership of the Senate, he will be guaranteed the ticket of the All Progressives Congress APC, by his handers in the presidency. The same way he abuses people in Abuja, he does same thing in his home state and that is why he is the one dividing the party in Delta State. He is definitely a divisive character. Ordinarily, I am not somebody who will join in the rabble-rousing game. However, I believe these two senators are behaving as if they have a monopoly of using harsh words against others. They believe they can only earn the relevance and be assured of the re-election by constantly attacking the person and office of the Senate President. While I can understand the exuberance of an Omo Regege, I am most disappointed in Senator Adamu. We earlier saw him as an elder, one of the people who should be uniting the Senate and troubleshooting by reconciling and rallying the younger lawmakers behind positive issues. Today, Senator Adamu is the one seeking to destabilize the Senate just to please some people in the executive. The earlier these two are and their ILKS retrace the step and concentrate on the duties as lawmakers instead of calling people names and whining like small children, the better. We have ignored them enough. This is a signal that we will tackle them on all points now, Rafi U stated. He further urged the Senate President and the leadership of the Red Chamber of the National Assembly to concentrate on the various groundbreaking laws, innovative interventions, revealing oversights and the progressive advocacy efforts that it has been embarking on and not be distracted by the antics of divisive elements and other members who operate under external influence.